Such a lovely day, Douglas. What did you say, good brother of mine? Oh, yes, good brother. It's such a lovely day. Oh, God. I spilled my secret stash. I hope the cops don't find it. Sweet baby Chrysler! <laughs> Donald, you idiot! You almost got the two of us killed! Well, that wouldn't have happened if we weren't joined at the hip for whatever reason. Oh, don't be silly, good brother. You know that is the most efficient way for both of us to get work done. I mean, every other engine does it. We are literally the only two engines on the island who does that crap. Like, seriously, why do we even do that? It's because people know we're twins. I don't see Bill and Ben do that. Don't you ever mention Bill and Ben in this household. We're outside. Oh, screw you. That nasty fight really did put a serious wrench into Donald and Douglas's relationship, so they decided to have a talk with Sir Topham Hatt afterwards. I shoot a man in the future. Sir Topham Hatt, we don't want to be twins anymore. Yeah, that's not how this works, Chief. Oh, bullcrap, fatso. You can do literally anything. You can murder us at will if you want. I'm trying to not do that. Percy said I didn't have to. Hey, where is Percy? I haven't really seen him since Christmas. Shut up, Thomas! You get enough episodes! I've literally only had two episodes centered around me this entire season. And my name is in the freaking show. Oh, this is hopeless! We are never going to get separated from being twins this way! Alrighty, listen here, Duck! What is it, Donald? Douglas is being a real dick, and I kinda don't want a twin anymore. Will you mind being my new twin? Why, certainly. Together, we can be Donald Duck. That's a stupid name. You're stupid. <coughs> Donald Duck, he's my little pal. <coughs> Donald Duck, Daisy is his gal. Why, hello there, Donald. How are you doing, good brother? Oh, shut up, Douglas. I had to spend the entire day working with Duck. We became Donald's Duck. That's such a stupid name. Not as good as Donald and Douglas, to be honest. Well, screw you. You're going to be alone forever with stupid little Duck. Ha 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 ha. I'm super sexy and you're not. I would watch where you're going, Donald. You might get hurt. Oh, shut up, Duck. What would you do? Well, looks like Donald got himself into a bit of a pickle. What do you say, Frank? I have been working on this railway for 40 years and every day one of these bastard engines end up crashing and derailing and end up just making a mess and a mockery and somehow the fat controller that greedy fat controller has yet to scrap these useless pieces of junk. Well, I've had it. I have had it, Richard. No more will I stand idly by and watch these pieces of junk continue to make a mockery of the Indian Valley Railway. From this day forth, I will no longer be associated with this filth. I am I am a driver. No more. Cool. Somebody get me out of this bloody thing. I'll bite. What's in it for me? What do you mean what's in it for you? We can be Donald Duck. Bullcrap! Just go get Douglas, alright? Hey, Douglas, your brother fell in a hole and could possibly be dying or whatever. You might want to go save him. Oh, crap! I didn't want the idiot to die. I better go get him. Okay, Donald. After all of this, what have you learned? I have learned the important lesson that family is important, no matter how abusive or terrible your family actually is. Well, at least we're better off than Percy. What a bad Percy! I don't know. Say, where is him anyway? I'll never tell. You scare me. Where are you, Sponge? 
Where are you? <coughs> I can see why you'd be upset. But don't worry, I'm new threat. I'm a friend. My name is Professor Crazy. Crazy? It's short for Professor Creighton Xenophar. Jesus Christ. Look, I know things seem a little odd because I'm not made out of wood, but I am your friend, just to let you know. But I have a serious question to ask you. Why? There has been an incursion in the multiverse, and my readings have sent me to this dimension. My readings tell me that somebody was in this dimension who shouldn't be. And I believe that that somebody is my friend. Was your friend a yellow sponge? Why, yes. Did you see my friend Spongebob? I think so. You have to come with me. I don't know. Let me ask my driver. Hey! Driver! That was the one with the wacky abortion scene that won an Oscar for best scene where the pregnant ghost dad yells at Dr. Huxtable. I specifically requested a wacky abortion. All right, let's go. Excellent. Trust me, Percy. With your help, the motivus will be in good hands. Or I could just crumble and burn like that building over there. That's not a building. That's a mind dick. A what? A mind dick. Christ, this dimension's weird.